And to stay up to date, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Hi everyone, Ira Miller here with ERA Grizzard Real Estate, the village's expert. I'm coming to you today from one of the many, many roundabouts that are here in the villages. And um, I know I've already done one video about how to drive in the villages, but I really thought that it just deserved a second look. In this video, I am gonna go ahead and take the drone up and then we're gonna kind of narrate how to navigate these roundabouts here in the villages. I've seen many, many accidents for pe from people who just didn't know how to navigate these uh, roundabouts or really what the rules are and um, really, you know, how it should be done correctly and to keep yourself safe. All right, so um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda do a little narration from the ground, and then we're gonna go up in the drone, and I'm gonna give you a look from above, and I'm gonna do my best to try to give you some graphics as to what to do and what not to do, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get this video started, and um, Let's show you uh, what you should or should not do from the ground level. Okay, so first things first, um, coming out of a neighborhood, you see on the ground you have um, different arrows. So keep an eye on the arrows. One arrow is going straight. Another arrow says to the right only. All right, so that means you are only to go around the roundabout and you are not to cut over into the uh, inner lane here. Okay, just like that lady did. Wrong. So let's sit here a little bit and see how kind of people do. All right, so that person in the black car did it right. That guy there did it correctly. All right, so he came from the only and continued on around. What you'll notice is a solid white line. All right, if there are two cars coming together on the roundabout, the person on the inner lane has the right of way to either go left or go like that red car did and just follow on around in the traffic pattern. The person on the outer lane cannot cross that white line if there is a car to their left. I've seen many people try to cut over and cause an accident. You will be at fault if you do that, okay? So, you see how all these people are doing it? That is correct. Also, make sure you use your turn signal. If you're on this inner lane, you see how that gentleman is using his turn signal to go around? That lets incoming um, traffic, oncoming traffic, know that you are attempting to turn left around the roundabout. All right, that gives them common courtesy that you are turning left and then that they are to wait because they do have a yield sign. They have two yield signs. There's one there and there's one right there. So um, be courteous, use your turn signals around these and make sure that the oncoming traffic knows which way you're going. If you are not turning left and continuing around the roundabout, give it a right turn signal. Let them know you're not going into the, um, into the roundabout or continuing around the roundabout. Give it a right turn signal. Let them know you're going right rather than left, okay? Again, only common courtesy. All right, so I'm giving you a little different angle. These are the people that are coming around the roundabout. Now, if you are coming this way and you wanna go into Piedmont, for example, again, watch your lines in the road. 
If you have somebody there coming around, you cannot come through this lane and cut in front of that person in the outside lane. If you cause an accident, you will be held responsible. So once again, make sure you watch these white lines and how you are able to cross and not cross, okay? We'll see if we can kind of stand here and see what, see how that person, now if that little red car had continued around, that white car would have had to have waited. And again, that guy there crossed over, but there was nobody in that lane, so he didn't have to worry. He could, have, he could just continue right on across. But just be careful and watch your traffic. All right, so once again, I'm giving you a little different view from the roundabout. So they came across, he came on into the inside. He was kind of back and forth, which you can do if there's nobody next to you. Now there's a little, a little mini coming around. Let's see what he does. Okay, so he continues and he has the right of way. If that blue car or white car wanted to come across, they would have had to have waited from the outside lane. So in my opinion, the inside lane is the safest lane because you can go either on around the roundabout or you can continue. However, the way I drive these, and a lot of people may not have seen this video, if there's somebody next to me and I'm in the inside lane and I'm gonna go around to the right, I'm gonna watch that person's eyes. I'm gonna watch that person's wheels, all right? So I'm looking at the steering wheel to see which way it looks like they're gonna go. If they're gonna, a lot of people will think that they can cross right over that, that whether it's solid or whether it's dashed, they think that they can come across that and they cannot. So again, I'm very defensive and I watch their wheels, and I watch to make sure they are gonna continue around so I don't get in an accident. And that's how I suggest you do it. If you are in the inside lane, you have an outside car in that lane, don't assume they're gonna keep going around to the right I always assume there's a good possibility they're gonna to try to come left and come across. So for some reason, I have no idea why some people think that they have the right of way on the outside lane and they do not. Okay, so there's this person and she's doing, now she, if she would have been courteous, she would have given a left turn signal and all those vehicles would have known her intentions. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, go on uh, and fly the drone and we'll give you a little better idea from up above. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the drone video and we are flying over the Piedmont Gate and um, we're actually looking east in this uh, drone video. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, fly over the roundabout and we're gonna take a look from above. And um, so here we are, and uh, we're actually looking at the Springdale gate there up at the top of the screen, okay? All right, so let's watch the traffic. And as the traffic navigates around the roundabout, these guys are doing uh, exactly what they're supposed to do. They're following the traffic circle and they're following all the lines and they're not impeding each other as they go through. On the bottom of our screen, you can see the person who is yielding to the traffic coming into this roundabout. 
and that white car sees that it's clear and they kind of come around and you can just look at the arrows. Now, um, from high above, the arrows make a lot of sense. They might not make so much sense when you're down there driving, but the arrows actually tell you how you can drive these roundabouts. So there's a white car there down in the roundabout at the bottom coming through following it around. If there was a car to the right, that car to the right could not go into that intersection with that white car there if that was the situation. All right, so as we continue to watch the traffic, you see a lot of the people on the outside of the circle. And then here comes a truck with a trailer coming in, down and around. So now you can see how the flow of traffic all works and it should work. Now, that one car at the bottom that just came across those dotted lines and the other car coming into the intersection, possibly that could have been a situation if that other car was a little bit further along coming out of the, uh, the yield section. So there you go, you have a good idea of how the traffic needs to flow in these roundabouts. So I hope this gives you a good idea of how the traffic looks from above and how the, uh, the lines in the road work to lead you through these roundabouts and the arrows as well. Okay, and so this is just in case you wanna see how it's done from a vehicle level. Let's uh, do this. So we're in the outside lane. The arrows tell us either straight. We have to make sure there's nobody to our left. Then we can cross over the double yellow lines. But we want to use our turn signals to let everybody know we're going on around to the right. Okay? And, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a U-turn up here, and we'll do it in the opposite way. So we have a little bit of construction traffic. Now I'm going to get in the left lane, use my turn signal. I'm in the left lane now. and I yield, I get no turn signals. There's one guy in the blue car, good for him, giving us a turn signal. Now, if I wanna go right, I make a turn signal to the right, and that's how it's done. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little video about uh, driving in the villages and how to navigate these roundabouts here. Um, this is my second video that I made, and I really feel like um, that it is that important. We are in what we call the season right now here in the villages, and um, so there's a lot of people, maybe you're one of them, that are new to the villages and don't really know how to um, navigate these roundabouts. And so again, just to recap, if you're on the inside lane, you can navigate all the way around these roundabouts and exit anytime you really want because that's how the dotted lines and the solid lines direct you. If you're on the outside lane, you should be exiting at that first exit out of that roundabout, okay? So, um, Anyways, uh, that's, but the guideline is follow the white line. 
Watch that white line. If you're on the outside lane here, make sure the guy on the inside lane isn't cutting in front of you if you plan on going around that roundabout. Okay, be safe, be knowledgeable, be aware um, that that driver on that inside lane on that roundabout has uh, the right of way going um, out of the roundabout whenever he wants. So um, again, just make sure if you're in this outside lane that you are paying attention. And if you're on the inside lane, same thing. Make sure that the guy on the outside lane isn't gonna cut in front of you. Yes, he would be at fault if you hit him, but hey, let's avoid an accident. You don't, you don't wanna have to go through that. You don't wanna have to deal with that when you're on vacation here in the villages or even if you live here full time. Those full time residents really kinda know, I think, think at this point on how to navigate around these roundabouts, but um, just be safe and, uh, and make sure, like if you're on the inside lane and this guy's on the outside lane, look at his eyes, look at him through his window, look at his front tire, kind of see what he's, you can kind of get clues as to what his intentions are. If he's coming around and looking to the right, you know he's probably gonna go to the right. But again, turn your turn signal on, both of you. Make sure that the driver behind you knows what your intentions are, okay? So um, again, I hope this video really helps. Like I said, I thought it was worth making another video about how to drive um, here in the villages and drive these roundabouts. So be safe out there. And if you have any questions or if something isn't clear, feel free to call me. Um, again, my number is 352-454-9561. You can text me on that as well if you have a question or don't understand something. Um, email me, homesaroundthevillages at gmail.com. That's a good source of, um, of contact for me. All right, so again... Uh, if you're new, welcome to the villages. Be safe, be careful. That's what this video is all about. I want to make sure that everybody stays safe and is careful and avoid as few accidents as possible. Oh, one last thing. Beware of golf carts. I see it all the time. Golf carts that um, people who are brand new here, they don't know how to navigate. The golf cart paths end up in these roundabouts so you know what be kind be patient and um that's key be patient and um you know give the people a break they're new they don't know um a lot of them make mistakes so thank you again for watching this video and i'll see you again in my next video